something out before someone gets hurt. Playing at mutiny, are we knocked? Not on my I'm just shit. trying to figure out my loadout before I do this. Because I've heard things about this particular dungeon. The last particular dungeon. As you can see, I've put 80... Oh no, 82 hours into this thing. Oh boy. So... Oh man, okay. Let's just do... That for now. This is the very last post-game dungeon, so... Here's the door. Thank you, Prompto. Get out of the way, please. But yeah, as you can see by that timer, I've been enjoying the crap out of some, you know, boy band road trip simulator. It's filled the time, if nothing else. Even if it's kind of a giant mess hey, at times. Open. Let's hit it. I've done... Uh, like, basically every other quest in the game. Including the other seven dungeons that are like this. And yeah, that's, that's the rub. I, this is the dungeon where you can't use items for some reason. So, yeah, Castle Mark. I, I have not done this yet, and I figured if this is something that can take several hours and is very difficult, then I might as well stream it for emotional support. get down 60 floors like that but without healing items and the thing about Final Fantasy 15 is that you get you can get through a lot of the game through heal spam so so this is going to be very interesting because that's pretty much how I've gotten this far get too hard yet it's later is gonna be real interesting being level 103 helps a lot the instant death cats the corals yeah um oh, corals are gonna be fun in this I hit my flares either. We all good. Better than good. Good to go. Basically I've got pretty good gear on everybody and everybody's also got a ribbon so I'm not gonna be worried about status effects.
and I'm... I don't know, I feel like everyone's pretty good, as prepared as I'm gonna get. And I've also got, as far as elements he goes, a bunch of heal casts, and plenty more to make more. So, if nothing else, I can heal my dang self. Let's do this. Right. So, I probably shouldn't have too much of a problem. Like, I definitely read up, is the thing. Because these are. These post game dungeons are kind of a bastard. But, uh. I don't know. Yeah, it's... I haven't been awfully impressed with the post-game dungeons because they're just tile sets over and over again. Not much to be impressed by, but... I don't know. There's also something to be said for pure combat without having to figure out optimal fast travel situations. Oh, that's very effective. Okay. That also got my max HP back up. Okay. That should be just fine. something. Alright, I'm feeling a bit more confident now that I'm in this. It's still just going to take a while. want to play a you know well let's let's just actually just try it might as well try it now get those muscles moving The healing situation is just a bit oh, yeah. less. I can't use heal cast when I'm as the other characters, so even though they're more fun and very effective in cer certain situations, I probably should avoid switching to them. Uh... Oh, boy. Okay. When in doubt, just spam Ragnarok Warp Strikes. Especially if you want just a bunch of eight oh, More Mind Flayers? Come on. Hmm. Ah, oh, dang it. Thanks. 
spaced out a second. Ah, don't sweat it. This is Let's see if the, the Grand Chamber starts working. Oh boy. There we go. Maybe... Uh, timing. That was a close one. Too close for comfort. I'm comfortable me. just being alive. All right, so the Grand Chamberlain's working. There is that. Sorry, I mean uh, this accessory for uh, Ignis here. I ha I need to I need to sell things at the shop, but I don't need money. I've read that, that getting that auto elixir thing to trigger can be a bit of a nightmare, but other than that, yeah. makes this at least a, a bit more possible. Just get a good heal cast in there for good measure. Oh, you know, just still got that cough after all these weeks. Watch out! Hey, Pronto! Stay on your feet! Back to it. Strap in, folks. This could be a while. Or at least yeah. at, uh, at least at number, can't number one. Wait, Might as well take the free refill on health. Here? You see a better place? I think this means we're at floor 10. And we don't get a map. Because it's all the same and it's all vertical anyway. Let's see what to what to make. Ah, oh, dang! I'm out of. All right. I'm out of the really good stuff. That should do us for a while. I'm gonna take a sip of water. What is it with games these days and making food just look amazing? Especially in Japanese AAA games. Between this and Monster Hunter is mostly, mostly what I'm thinking about. This one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. I'm already <laughs> all the way full on photos. I've actually been pretty sparing about which ones I keep, but I've been playing for over 80 hours, so. I don't know, maybe at the end of this I'll show it off. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Oblivious. Oh, hey, the speakerphone works. Oh. Well, hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm at work and my headache just went away, so I'm feeling better. Cool. Uh, I'll put you I'm... on the stream somewhere or something. 
Yeah, just throw me in a box somewhere. That's the idea. Uh, I'm actually quite curious what the data usage is on, on this. Uh, that's partly why I'm testing it out. I imagine it's not insignificant. Yeah, well, I, it's... Well, also work's gonna start in a few minutes, so... Ah. I mean, I'm already punched in, but uh, nothing really happens until about 10 o'clock anyway. Alright. Sure. So, how's it going? It's been a while. Uh, yeah, it has. I, um... Uh, well, like I've been alluding to a couple of times, my car died, so a lot of my extra... Oh. Uh, been shot to hell in a uh, hand basket. Yikes, sorry to hear that. I mean, on the plus side, walking around all this, I've lost, well, between that and stress, I've lost about 30 pounds. Hey, there's that. Yeah. Oh, crap, I left my back outside. <laughs> also, there's been wonderfully radical changes in pressure nearly every day, so that's that's great for someone who suffers from, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, it messes with your head uh, whenever your sinus cap uh, 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 cavities are uh, kind of weak. I think I got the idea, yeah. I was like, I know what I want to say, but my brain's not giving me the words. Sorry to hear that all that crap's going on. Yeah, well, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger until it does kill you. <laughs> Feel that. Uh, on the plus side, I've been doing more exploring in town on foot, and uh, surprisingly a lot of cool stuff that I I would have missed otherwise. Yeah. So it doesn't all suck. I had, I had jury duty recently, and I used that as an opportunity to kind of explore downtown. And that was fun. Oh, yeah, I meant to ask you about that, because I was like, is that over and done with, or...? Yeah, it's it's it, it ended uh, at the uh, end of last month. Oh, okay. It was a grand jury, so it took a whole month. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun, though. Yeah, I've been selected for jury duty before, but then they ended up, ended up reneging on me for one reason or another. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm perfectly willing to do my civic duty. Um, but they actually but they're they're very picky. I, I mean, personally, I think if I think if they knew me, I'd probably be more a uh, more of a problem than anything Let's else. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they they actually they requested jury duty of me. Um, they requested jury duty of me very shortly after I moved to Atlanta, which was really funny because it's like, uh, you guys just missed me. <laughs> Because here, here I, uh, it's like, I am literally working three miles away, so um, unless you're willing to fly me there every day, I don't think this is happening. Yeah. I heard, uh, I heard that happened to a couple other people in my pool. It's like, I just moved or I'm in the process of moving? I can't do this for a whole month. Yep. Also, I think I think my boss is is uh, secretly working for Uber. Really now? Uh, I say this because, um, well, like I said, without a car, it, you have to get creative with your options and how to get to and from work. And uh, unfortunately, you're, you're, so you're Ubering to work? Unwillingly on a number of days. Ah. Uh, well, let me explain. Um, and I, I've been railing, I've, I, I've been railing about this for a little while now. Uh, so yeah, hash, hashtag Atlanta problems. Um, uh, if you've ever been to Atlanta for any or anybody listening or you know retroactively watching the you know the clip version of this, uh, Atlanta has a transit system, uh, transit system called uh, MARTA. It's an acronym, and I keep forgetting what it means. Uh, point is, it's a bus and uh, tram system. It actually works pretty well. 
and they've been trying to expand it into other places for quite a while now. Unfortunately, I moved to Cobb County. And to, oh. to spare you the Atlanta politics, uh, Cobb County is... Uh, I'm just going to be very blunt here. They're assholes and they're racists. Or, or at least whoever is in charge of giving the okay on the public transit, uh, um, you know, yay or nay, basically. Now, they do have public transit, but here's the problem. They turn their public transit off on Sunday. I usually work Sunday. Ah. Now, uh, obviously buses and, and uh, the trains aren't 24 hours, but the Martas are open, you know, seven days a week, uh, up until about midnight. Uh, Cobb Link, not so much. Hmm. And uh, that comment that I made earlier about paying 20 bucks to get to work just one way uh, was no exaggeration. No. On top of that, I tip well. Against my better judgment. Ah. So that they uh, noticed that? Yeah. Well, also specifically, like, I told them on numerous occasions that, look, Sundays don't really work for me. Uh, specifically for that reason. I mean, I basically have to have to eat uh, forty bucks of Uber fare to you know to get to and you know from this place. Yeah. And so I told him that, and he actually managed to find a way to increase the number of times I'm going to need Uber this week. Oh, <laughs> jeez. So I I can't prove this, but I think he's getting some kind of kickback from Uber. Yeah. Thirty percent kickback. That'll get him three bucks, or you know, six to see. Well, consider no, twelve. Considering that that I paid pretty much nearly a hundred bucks uh, of Uber already this month, uh, that that'll add up, because I'm not the only one that this is happening for. Oh boy. And I'm working a double today, so I'm, eh, I'm gonna be here a while. Sorry to hear that. I mean, hey, at least I'm back up to 40 hours a week, uh, and it'll probably change after Henry gets back from vacation. There is that. Uh, and, and and plus, it was actually good timing that he he sent me back to this particular site uh, this week because. Uh, they shut down the previous site that I that I've been going to, uh, not because Indeed. not because they lost the contract or anything, although that that happens quite frequently. Um, uh, somebody broke the security system. <laughs> uh, like Just straight up broken, or like it, I, I I wish I could say it was that it was just like oh it was something shorted out and now there's a whole problem, but it it it. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be inaccurate to say that somebody spilled a drink in the wrong place and screw the whole thing up. Wow. Yeah. Um, and that's not the only that's not the only hazardous uh, that's not the only hazardous crap I've had to deal with on a site. And I got a truck incoming, so I'll be right back in a second. All right. Oblivious, the security guard. Right. Cup noodle promotion continues inexplicably. That side quest was weird. Next thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. I have had just about enough of these hot dogs. Yes, 
Let's wrap up this rumble and get some ease. So it goes. We're outnumbered. <sighs> Forget it, just we're doing armature. together okay so far but that's not hard when a mind flayers are the, are the most dangerous thing we're fighting which is a weird sentence now that I've said right it here. yeah I did forget to ask what game are you playing Final yeah. Fantasy 15 right yeah that was on the list specifically the toughest endgame dungeon thing was it like New Game Plus, or is it just that really, really hard extra crap? Post post game stuff. Ah, gotcha. Actually, technically, I, I've still got Omega Weapon to deal with, but Let's see, twenty one oh seven. Yeah, it's all professional. We do everything in military time here. Don't give don't give us too many details about. I mean, we're we're live. Don't give us too many details about uh, your work. Oh no! I, believe me, I don't bring it up if it's something I can't talk about. All right, good. <laughs> just make just making sure. Just trying to look out for you. Oh, oh no! Believe me, it's it's like a it's like regular conversation. If I want to talk about something and it's okay, then I will do it. If not, you won't hear a peep of it out of me. Good to hear. That, just, you know, want to make sure I'm not putting, you know, work in jeopardy or something. Honestly, this place could burn to the ground for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh, but I am, bollocks to that effort, then. Well, no, 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 I, 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 that's my, that's my personal, that's my personal feelings, and I don't hide that. I still do my job, though. I swear, half your photos are selfies. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Also, I'd be very confused if one of my bosses is listening to your stream. Come now, it's nothing special. Because A, they should be working, and B, how do they find this? Perfect timing. <laughs> but no, I, I brought up the I brought up the military time thing specifically uh, because I had to explain that to to one of the new guards. Mm. He's like, what? Well, what in the hell is military time? I was like, okay, you know how, uh, like, say right now it's look at my watch, uh, nine o'clock. Just add twelve hours to it, and then you got the military time. Right. Yeah. Not nearly as complicated as a lot of people think. Although that that is a fun game to play when you first wake up and it's like, okay, what time is it? Because my my phone is also in military time for that same reason. <laughs> it's like, okay, on your on your sleep schedule, there's actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I I almost got in a lot of trouble. Not uh, when was it? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Um, I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go in at ten o'clock tonight. No big deal. I I actually looked at the schedule online. Oh, I'm supposed to be there in three hours. Crap. <laughs> it's like, well, I won't make the bus on time, so I got an Uber. Ugh. Actually, you meet some really interesting people here. 
Yeah. Any any customer facing job tends to, to you find, tend to be interesting people occasionally. Yeah. Um, the exposure to a different side of life. Not just a different side of life. Very 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 different cultures. And funnily enough, oh, for right. funnily enough for for as for as many Canadian drivers as we get here, which is something really bizarre. I, I always have to ask them, I was like, why in the world would you come to Georgia if you lived in Canada? But business, obviously. <laughs> Surely, there's other places where a truck driver can go to. Um, but uh, funnily enough, only one French-speaking uh, Canadian so far, and I've met a lot of them. I'm so glad that worked out so well. Sorry, I just switched to Prompto and just fired a machine gun at a Marlboro. A Marlboro. We're alive. Let's celebrate. Yeah, I'm actually not entirely clear on the pronunciation because I know it's a I know it's a reference to the tobacco company, but I think it is also a slightly different pronunciation, so they, they you know they can sidestep copyright stuff. I think it's Marlboro. Yeah. Don't uh, miss. Tomato, tomato, potato, killer, a foul smelling plant. Is that intentional? I always kind of wondered. Oh, yeah, oh, it's absolutely intentional. I mean, it's, it's signature, its signature attack is, is uh, bad breath. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. That that makes it come together. Mal Malbaro, Ava says, is the correct... Malbaro. Stinky plant. That, that's all you need to know. That one fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, if, if you want to be blunt about it, sure. It, it's, it definitely falls under the that one boss kind of territory, even though it's not always a boss. By the way, screw screw uh, those particular bosses in the Orem Vale in Final Fantasy XIV. Holy crap! It's right. it's a vanilla dungeon, and people people still get killed by it. Uh, both. Oh boy, I've heard basically what I've heard about FF fourteen from out other sources is that uh, you have to get to Stormblood at all before the game actually gets pretty good. Vanilla content kind of sucks. Huh? I, Even A Realm Reborn vanilla. I disagree with that. Um, and I've... I've I, <laughs> I will admit, it is slow to start. I totally cop to that. It is slow to start. Because um, the story honestly doesn't start getting good about level 30-ish. Um... Now, they did make a change recently, and I don't know if they went back and changed it, because I have honestly been focusing on crafting for a number of reasons. Um, but they made a change not too long ago where it was like, hey, uh, you want to do your story scenario um, daily stuff, where it's basically uh, you do you run through story, uh, story level stuff with full parties. Um, and the problem is, they changed to where you can't skip the cutscenes in those. Oh. And the, the reason that they did it, and I, you know, in theory, I understand why, is because, you know, new players are, are like, hey, I want to see the cutscenes, but the cutscenes are A, very long, and, you know, it's the internet, people are impatient. So yeah. Hit escape, hit escape. And now you can't do it. Oh, that's fun. Now again, I that that was a that was a hot fix, so I don't know if they went back and changed that again because I haven't done that scenario stuff in quite a while. Uh, but yeah, people are all like, "Yeah, just watch the cutscenes online." It's like, well, yeah, but it kind of it, it it's kind of immersion breaking to you know to put it mildly. And another truck. Where the hell is my paper? Let's move. Yeah. Excuse me. Buzz off. 
Oh yeah. Ah oh, man, we're we're in the mid twenties or something, right? Out of sixty. Oh, this has gone great. How many times? Enough talk. Time for some action. Back to it. All right, we got multiple exits here. I don't even know if there's anything good in the in the whatever side paths there are. Probably not. Just high potions and whatnot. Yeah, there we go. Might as well check. Excuse me? Oh, I see. Stat increase, right? I think I think I've been getting the items so far. Again, because this is kind of like the last thing. I haven't been terribly concerned about uh, getting yet more. Well, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's like one sort of super encounter I could go hunting after next. Get all the things. I mean, I've been trying. I'm pretty close. There's, there's like a rare, uh, random encounter in the wild that you can find in a specific spot that drops like a super powerful accessory. <coughs> Pardon. And like, apparently, some people grind out like twelve of that drop. <laughs> uh, for, at, a, at a point where there's like no reason to because you're already more powerful than God. <laughs> more, oh, more. this is this is something special. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to be anyone but Noctis right now. Don't sweat it. Certainly. Like this, much trouble. this is a person I should be familiar with. <laughs> that main character of Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> yeah, I had uh, absolutely no interest in the game, so I didn't bother to learn anything about it. It's a mess. <laughs> but kind of a really fascinating mess. Kind of like some days when you're trolling through YouTube uh, or Discord comments. No, more like. Watch yourself, knocked. I know. Uh, I don't know what's a reading someone equivalent. Uh. It's it's more the fact that it's so obviously kind of like assembled piecemeal. Well, yeah, because there was the whole it started out as Final Fantasy 13 verses or some crap, and then they're like, crap, uh, we, we, we need to make another Roman numeral sequel. Uh, what do we do? Uh, 
I know it's way more involved than that, but that's all I can remember at this point. They're basically some uh, bizarre party splits and time skips that are patched, are story patched in with DLC. Is the, is the time travel a normal part of the story, or is that DLC exclusive? Everything we have. No, I mean like time skips, not not time travel, time like flash forwards. Oh. Or, or periods where the where the a party member disappears for a while, and that becomes like a story DLC. Gotcha, gotcha. And like some important details are kind of buried in there. That they kind of forgot to put in the main game. Yeah, I just dealt with that because I just finished watching uh, Girl Magan. I was like, oh yeah, this takes place over multiple time skips. You, you think I'd be used to that by now? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to stock the bridge. Ignis is, is the best DLC, I agree. Ignis is just the best boy. Wait, there's dog DLC? No. There's no dog. Well, there is a dog, but there's no companion dog. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I agree. Wasted opportunity, Squeenix. I don't know. This this is more of a bros game than a than a dog, you know, dog friend game. What if could, that makes any sense? What could, what could be a better bro than your dog? You should be proud. You gave it your all. It's a different sort of relationship. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm obviously not not against that. Uh, you know, to bring that up again, that was. Uh, uh, I'm not saying not a better sort of relationship, but emotionally somewhat different. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't criticizing that. I was like, well, then again, I, I literally just plugged an enemy that is totally about bros and the ultimate bro himself. This is a slightly more, you know, road trip feels sort of, sort of bro than Hell yeah, let's band together, kind of bro. Let's go. Yeah, fair enough. I can't, yeah. I can't believe these are words coming out of my mouth, but here we are. Here. This is surprisingly doable. This should be floor 30. This should be the halfway point. I feel thank you. I said, I'm going to say, I'm sleeping here. That is cute, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, I want to say, tomorrow, uh, see you. We see you in Twitter. Yeah, yeah, we see you in Twitter. Yeah, I can't find it. Uh, but I work on, uh, I have a six o'clock, yeah? I'm, I'm going to mute you for a second or something, probably. <laughs> Also, let me check for Azurink's sake. Something real quick. Iron Giant start here. Uh, start soon. Oh boy. Confirm for Azure Inc. Now, 
what to eat. is all get out. Feels like the secret is just soft focus and then making it look like you dunked everything in water. That's how you make delicious looking food in a video game. Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Stylish as always. Look at you. It's, it's probably more soft than it should look, really. To answer your question, Blaze Karen. Everything in order. Yep. Right behind you. Day three in Fort Castle, Mark. Five. Oh, good. We're losing the level advantage. Knocked. Appreciate it. Do we have like? Guys. Watch out! That's it. Better than ever. Same plot. There we go. That. That is what I was. Hey, Ignis, instructions Prompto, look alive. Muting you for a second, Oblivious. I don't want to hear. Don't don't want to hear your work. Cthulhu cosplaying wizards. Nope. No plays a Karen. No, the brain drainers. The that's just a rename and reskin. Their their original form is literally just mind flayers. They are literally just mind flayers. Oh, good. Let's, right. Let's try the long range approach again. Why are you coming towards me? That trick just tends to work. Alright, let's go. see if Oblivious right. is back from 
work his own. I don't hear the sounds of uh, security guard work, so maybe there's a lull. You know, you should probably mute or something if you're about to have someone drive up. Well, I I, I didn't see him. He, he knocked he knocked on my door uh, in my blind spot. And, uh, that, that's about twenty percent of my job is is uh, is directing con, uh, confused uh, confused Russian drivers. Ah. Uh. Most of them from Florida and uh, Canada. Interesting. Not sure if there's a connection to any of that. That's just something I've noticed. So when you keep checking licenses, you start noticing patterns. Yeah. Also, I forgot. Makes enough sense. Also, I forgot where the mute button was, so that wouldn't have helped anyway. Oh, then. oh why is there four of them? <laughs> oh, tell me that's only four of them. What? Yeah, I haven't played that game, but I have played Xeno Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it has a very similar overworld thing. So, yeah, I, I understand that, that, oh, there's that many of them? Great. And then while I this is more This is more of a dungeon thing. Oh. A very high-level dungeon thing. Oh, fun. Trash. Always do. Or, uh, not vendor trash, trash mobs. I got my turn wrong. Uh, okay. That was an incredibly bad idea. Let's try a different tag. Well, here we are. Right in when you need him? Yeah, I'm kidding. It, it, is it, you know, that one attack where it just kind of ruins everything for you? It's just a lot of bad. Yeah, there's always at least one of those. So, oh, oh god, that's a huge mosquito. Speaking of random encounters... No kidding. Wait. Ah, got it! Uh, uh. It's all gooey. Uh, Overwhelm keeps missing a lot because they keep dragging my guys out of position. Oh, 
that's two guys down. Get through this somehow. Because you're a master tactician? No. Because dodge and heal spam. Well, th that works too. When in doubt, cheese, cheese, cheese. Well, they've cut down about 50% of my cheese options, so... Random encounter you you walk away from. Well, this is this is more of a scripted encounter that I wasn't forewarned about because I didn't look it up. Oh, I need to hop in some more heal cast. Maybe generate some more heal cast. Oh, don't tell me that heal. Much for my 82 hours of mostly level sync. Oh man. There's gonna be more of that, isn't there? Uh, level sync? No, uh, more Iron Giant multi rounds. Oh, Iron Giants, yeah, I'm familiar with that enemy. They suck. FF15? Um, uh, well, actually, it varies across the games, but they usually hit pretty hard. Uh, yeah, they're kind of the. This game has a day night cycle. Nighttime is more dangerous, and Iron Giants usually spawn. And they're, the, they're the big boys who are there to tell you that nighttime is more dangerous. They get pretty common once you start feeling brave enough to go outside more often, but yeah. Oh, good. Four, four mind flares. Just, just pile them up. Yeah, mind flares are weird because like their uh, their uh, difficulties kind of wall with over games. I'm not as versed in my Final Fantasy lore. And well, what, what's even funnier is the naming for them is, has always been a little inconsistent on top of that. Because I spent 20 years playing these games and I, I'm, I'm going to do something with it, damn it. <laughs> Just... 
That breath of theirs is just rude. Say your prayers. Uh, the Marlboros or something else? The the mind players slash brain drainers. Oh, they have a breath attack. That that is interesting. Most of the time, they just have insta kill spells. This isn't. This is an action RPG, not a proper RPG. Actually, that reminds me. I have a question, but I'll I'll wait till you get done with the encounter. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I just finished. So go. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the one thing I have seen constantly because they show it in all the promotional material is like uh, every time. I'm assuming the main guy. Uh, and I'm guessing one of his antagonists. Um, whenever they fight, it's like, oh, uh, a circle of swords show up and you pick up a thing. Um, what's the deal with that? Uh, the deal with that, like, do you want the story thing or the gameplay thing? Uh, gameplay is fine, but you can go into lore if you want. Um, basically, the MacGuffins are the swords of the lineage of king, the weapons of the lineage of kings. Uh, the superpower that Noctis has is to basically wield all of them at once and start flying and just you basically hold down the circle button and you just auto attack with all of them this is how you do and then there's and, and, and then there's parts of the game where you go supersonic I mean super sane oh, I mean My arms aren't, they the, mode. aren't they the same thing really that was kind of the joke I was going for. Super Saiyan Sonic mode, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's that's armature mode in a, in a nutshell. I remember seeing that power in another game, but I can't place it right now. You know, I feel like that rings a bell as well now that you say that, but I don't know. I mean, I've I've seen it in an anime specifically before. I, I can pinpoint that, but... I mean, uh, I, I mean, what... The whole, like, flying, floating swords beside you is sort of pretty anime in general. Well, because I'm thinking... For being real. I, I'm thinking of fairy tale specifically, like the re-equip thing where you just pull weapons out of nowhere. But I also remember that showing up in a game, now that's bugging me. Hey, pronto. Stay on your feet. Oh hey, my dunce forces are hatching. I decided to go with the novelty team in uh, in Pokemon Black 2 because it's the only Pokemon game I haven't completed yet. Uh. So I was like, what novelty team could do? Oh, oh, I know, I know. I'm going to go with the noodle team. Okay. Basically anything vaguely serpent, long tube thing kind of. There aren't enough snakes in the thing that make an actual snake team, so I had to I had to kind of no, expand my options. Here. Indeed, you're. I'm not familiar enough with Pokemon to start playing with novelty teams, but okay. I mean, to be fair, I don't usually do novelty teams anyway. I just pick my favorites and go with it. Talk. Time for some action. All in together now. I am many things, but I'm not terribly creative. Oh, why does that deal so much damage? So many ticks. Uh, because of jerks. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm over this dungeon now. <laughs> I'm. This sucks. Uh, well, now. You're here. This this is not great. <laughs> and just think, if I die, I have to do it all again. Camping. Again. Oh, so it's the Crystal yeah, Tower. Wonderful. Camping. Yeah. <laughs> This is number eight of eight of these. How much do I like Utis and Elder Corals? Oh no, I, f I completely forgot you mentioned those. How am I even gonna get through those? I have way too much HP. Wait, hold on, that can be a problem? No, <laughs> I'm talking about enemies. Oh. I thought you were saying you had too much HP. I was like, how's that a problem? Okay. Something's got to give me some kind of... <laughs> That's this block? The whole block? Oh, no. I mean, not the whole block exactly, but... Uh... You know what? Do I really not have enough for a... Um, I don't have enough for anything with a defense boost. That's not great. Should have probably gone shopping for ingredients before I went down here. I guess we'll settle for something with regen boost. Critical boost, maybe. And that might be a good idea. Special. There's a, there's a lot of foods on that menu that I might actually eat. To be yeah, I'm I'm with you on that blaze of card. Oh, that reminds me, I have curry. I should eat that. Not a bad idea. Refreshed. Well, the tent lets you stretch out a bit more. <laughs> My first attempt at it, and I think I put too much coconut milk in there. Open up, okay. Hmm. I haven't had a lot of curry in my whole life, really. But then again, I could say that for a lot of foods. Bring on the next one. I'm open to a lot of. I'm open to new things, but I have a pretty limited palate when I'm just on my own. 
Yeah, I've, I've traveled the world on my stomach at this point. <laughs> oh, oh, this is great. Oh no, this is this is just fine. Fantastic. Is it possible to just run past? No. There is a gate that shuts when the encounter starts. Oh, that's that's really not good. I just fired something across the room, and I don't know what it was. Oh well. Right. You twos. Right. Electric spiders. Giant electric spiders. Because regular giant spiders weren't bad enough. This is the Maso Dungeon, yeah, pretty much. And I'm as prepared... What? Just nearly as prepared as one could be. I, I could have done more preparing, but my goodness. It's an RPG. You can always do more grinding. Well, I'm I'm at I'm at level 103, and that's the level where it takes like a million experience to get to the next one. I didn't say it was saying. I'm just saying you could do it. Cat's next warning. Oh, let's go ahead and get. Some elements going. There was one that was like heals the party, but no such luck. And Thunder's probably not going to be the one I want for these guys. Actually, I'll bring in the Blazilla guy I made earlier. Yeah, typically oh, wait, no, you don't want to use lightning on electric spiders and stuff like that. No, I think that's not. I specifically want the heal cast for healing. That's right. Oh, ice doesn't hurt the elder ones. Use fire. Okay. Because it's this dungeon, I will allow backseating because I've already done preparing anyway. So any semblance of, you know, keeping myself unspoiled has already been lost. Oh god. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, you like it. At least it's just one, he said. Oh, that spinning whip. And it's Right, and it heals. Agnes! Hell's out, Charles. Everything cool? I'm starting to think that the game doesn't like you very much. No mercy. You know, it really wants me to like it, but it doesn't like me very much. Invulnerable, good. No, that's fine. It sounds like a very Sundari game. Oh, Come on, guys. All better? Thanks. Just a little further and we got this. Don't go dying on me now. Oh, that's an AoE. Crap. Oh. 
Look, look at the bright side, Spud. At least you're the one directing this stuff, as opposing as opposed to having to rely on seven other people. Directing this stuff? I'm not sure what you mean. As in, you're in control of your party, to an extent. Yeah, one of four. I, I'm done trying to guess elemental weaknesses in this game. I was done before, but I'm extra done now. Stick a fork in the spud. He's done. I really forgot how obnoxious these were. Not as obnoxious as, as corals, but... Goodness gracious. I really should look into some of the Limit Break Ascension nodes. It wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game if it didn't require a spreadsheet for some crap. Yeah. That's why I don't do raiding in Final Fantasy XIV. I, I, I save myself the trouble. Fair enough. Taking a drink. <laughs> so what's in here? It's... More spiders. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Oh, oh, I was kidding, but <laughs> was that right? Yep, that was correct. <laughs> oh, why am I only right about the awful stuff? Please don't heal it. Please don't heal it. Hang on. Vulnerable, I'll take it. Full of goblins, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. That's a breather. I mean, they're probably tough as nails for goblins, but. Well, I mean, compared to maybe starting game goblins, or, you know, like level 7 goblins. Maybe, maybe the game's gonna go full circle, and the final, like, standard encounter you have is a bunch of, like, dire rats, but they're somehow extremely powerful. Actually, do you even fight any rats in this game? No. Okay, so let let the pest control. There's there's no there's no standard like animals of any kind really. Yeah, even the spiders are electrified. Feel good. Better than yeah. good. Good to go. Well, they're they're more like uh, driders, but. 
Oh, this this has almost nothing to do with what you're. Uh, but the spider thing reminded me of something. Uh, I got a I got a friend who's uh, trying Dark Souls for the first time. I think I can handle this all by myself. And uh, right. uh, I don't know if the HD one is out. I haven't really I haven't been checking. Lately. It's it's kind of flying under the radar, but I think it's soon. Yeah, cool. Because I know it was originally supposed to come out in March, and then it got delayed, which nah, I'm fine with that. Um, but he made it. He made it to uh, to Kalog's uh, uh, domain for the first time. Yeah. Which, well, first I had to, I had to sit through I had to sit through his uh, his uh, 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 hurricane of swearing uh, about Blight Town, which I'm pretty sure most standard. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Most, mostly a, a. Oh, wow! You weren't kidding this too. Sorry. Go on. But, no, it, well, it started off with a carpet uh, f bombing, and then, uh, and then when he calmed down, he's like, "Yeah, this place sucks." But then I get the Keylogs domain, and I wasn't ready for her. Oh yeah. So he basically beat his face against the wall for like. I don't know, a couple dozen times. Because, you know, Dark Souls out, has been out for a while, so there's uh, not nearly as many people to summon in, and he didn't know about, uh, uh, he didn't know about the NPC summon. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it was available because he killed her, but, um, he's like, why did you tell me? Yes, he's vulnerable. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Punch him in the face. Kick him while he's down. It, it, no, that's not. That's not sufficient kicking. It, it, it's it's the post game uh, uh, honor and valor and all that stuff has has been shot out of a cannon. Okay, down to one. But he, he blames me for not telling him about the summon. I was like, dude, you didn't even tell me that you were in Blight Town, or I would have warned you about that. Pick me up, guys. Thank you. And he also went the long way around, too, because uh, I, I didn't tell him about the Master Key thing. Ah, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I could have helped you if you would have told me, but you decided to marathon the game. You know what kind of helps is that they give you a animation attack that just makes you invulnerable and lets you deal a ton of damage. Which is why Ignis is, you know, further the best. Best pony, clearly. Yeah. Ignis is best pony. He's not even a pony and he's best pony. Not really, but... Well, no, I mean, that's... I know some people are, are absurdly serious about that, but... <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm not serious. If if you hear the words Ignis' is best pony and immediately in your mind your response is no actually <laughs> you've got some problems I'm sorry I like the show a lot too I make a webcomic about it and you gotta let best pony go man uh, or, or at least be self aware and realize it's like yes that that is a joke please don't take that too seriously. It is not an opportunity for you to tell me what your preference is. It is well, a joke I'm having at, at the game's expense. Thank you. Well, actually, no, just stop right there. Stop right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a campfire. Why? Actually, that was really funny. I, I managed to kill a conversation with that uh, earlier. Um... It, it was it was in a political thing, and I won't I won't talk about what it was about to bring the show uh, the thing down. Um, but I forgot that I was still in that tab, and I accidentally brought over the conversation from the anime tab over to that one. Sure looks that way. Hard to imagine even a and <laughs> there was a moment of of what the hell, and then we just continued on the conversation from there. Just just took took the took the anime trope conversation from that one to the political channel, which I'm sure will confuse anybody who's back walking. I got that much.
which leads to, to the to the relevant part. Uh, it's like clearly clearly you all are very wrong. Pinkie Pie is best pony, just out of nowhere, which killed, right. killed the conversation again. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds pretty useful. Oh no, it was it was hilarious to watch. Because that, that's when I pulled the, well, actually moment, and <laughs> they thought I was serious the whole time. Oh, boy. Um, let's, let's do that one. Does that tell me I'm on the final stretch? Maybe if I might be on 50. <laughs> be, be, beginner. All oh, those look actually pretty good. Beginner's tip for any really long game. If you think you're close to the end, you're not. <laughs> well, it means that there isn't another campground with a you know lore tablet on it. I'm assuming those are save points. Or no, it's just it's it's a it's a feature of these post game dungeons. Hmm. Well, you said campsite, and it made me think. It's like okay, that's some way to rest. Oh, can't. A campsite is like you don't uh, tally XP automatically. Uh, you you earn it and then you Stylish camp and then it, it gets applied to your character, and then you can also eat food to apply uh, timed buffs. Hmm. So like Oblivion style le leveling system and uh... does Oblivion do that? Yeah, you don't level up until after you sleep. Oh, Ready yeah, more? something like that. You bet. I think they also do the same thing in Ultima, but it's been young since I ever played that game. Many, 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 because apparently yeah, camping is yeah. camping is a whole thing with like tents and literally actually Coleman branded camping equipment. Huh. <laughs> Product placement, yo. Wait. Coleman and cup noodle. Uh, oh no! I knew that. I knew the cup noodle was a thing. I, I was perfectly aware of that, but they're actually using Coleman stuff. Yeah. I I, I guess <sighs> too much money uh, re rendering your boys that they needed the extra money. Yeah, I mean. Liking Cup Noodle is practically one of these boys' character traits, and there aren't many to go around. <laughs> that is unfortunate. There's a whole side quest about, is it even possible to make Cup Noodle better? No, really. I, I, I'm just taking it all in, give me a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I can repeat it if you need me to. No, 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 I, I, I heard it. I'm, I'm just drinking it in right now. Actually, it kind of does make me want ramen. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I've never liked cup noodle or any adjacent product. You need to try like some actual ramen. I mean, to be fair, yeah. th there there are some legitimate like instant ramen things that actually aren't crap. Um, starting with the Ichiban brand, that that's actually not too bad. I mean, you know, it's it's eighty cents as opposed to the ten cents, but there's a good reason for that. Um, yeah, like, because we have uh, we have a couple of like actual sushi and ramen shops around here, and they are uh, it's like uh, uh, ten ten dollars for like a uh, like some actual uh, ramen, and you're like that that's kind of expensive until you realize it comes in a, in, a, in a gigantic ass bowl, and it's actually fantastic. Uh, funnily enough, I really, really do like the the, the soba stuff even better. That, that's the buckwheat noodles. How many times? Yes, they make noodles out of buckwheat, apparently. I mean, I'm not surprised, just I'm also a little distracted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it, I'm just, it just means I'm not responding as fast. That's cool. I'm also talking about food because I'm still very hungry after eating my curry, and I'm wondering if I should eat some more. So am I. That's why I'm streaming and begging for greenbacks. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, 
consider donating, consider sharing with bits, or even just following. By all means, if you're not already. Support my crap. <laughs> Indeed. Support this. Just Wh whatever the end game shenaniganery. <sighs> just can't take it. Support best pony. <laughs> 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 Support Ignis best pony. Maybe that should be a new emote. Just just put your um your avatar but with Ignis's hair. No, just just pony Ignis with the hair and the shit and the glasses. No, I meant Heck yeah. I meant like like an emote or something in the Discord server. Heck, I should make that my thing. Yeah. Make a pretty good Twitch channel, honestly. Ow! I, z I zippered up my finger. Ow! What? I have a, uh, I have a, I have a, basically a like one of those rolling suitcases that I carry all my stuff in to go to work. Mm -hmm. Because we have to supply our own water and stuff like that. Fancy that. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I wasn't paying attention, and my finger was in the way of the zipper. Yeah, I'm, I'm not bleeding or anything, it, it just stung really bad. Yeah, that sucks. Let's go! Yep. Of course he found an image of the... I, I, Ava Seco found an image of the boys as ponies, which I'm not surprised by at all, but... Not in still the like, aw. Not surprised in the slightest. Oh, good. Oh, no, that's, that's just fine. That's great. Bring it on. Go do the post-game dungeon, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, I managed to just delete one, so there's that. Wait, you have console commands? Or sure, why not? Or, or is that like an actual ability you have? Wait. So, so did I, then I scrolled down? What What did you find? Oh no. What did you find, Tintrino? Find something. That was that was significantly easier than I expected it to be. Did you find something from the weird part of the internet? Which is seventy percent of it. I don't mean the standard weird. I mean like the what am I doing up this late looking at this stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Wow, that pony image has Ignis and Prompto completely backwards. <laughs> what? The the pony image that Avis Echo posted in the Discord. Uh it has Ignis as, as the Pegasus and because it's like it's it's Noctis as a uh, unicorn, uh, then Gladio as an Earth pony, obviously, and then Ignis is the Pegasus and Prompto as a unicorn. But like that should be reversed because of their personalities and actions. Also, I I think I found the one that is big on the cut wheel. I'm not 100% certain about that, but I think that's the one I'm staring at. Is it the obscenely beefy boy? Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Gladio is the one. Oh, got another truck. You sure to mute so we don't hear you working. Oh, no, it's, it's not allowed here. Oh, no, no, they're outside. Okay. Good. 
coffee for later. There's a lot of Ignis as avatars, as in like character creators in other games, or what do you mean by that? Let's go. <laughs> Almost there, Ava says. I'm not sure I believe you. Say your prayers. No, oh, that was poorly timed. Pronto, stop fishing, start killing. Gotcha. This is 59 out of 60? Okay. Oh, goodness. this is almost over. It's been over an hour and a half. Oh my goodness, why? Oh my goodness, why? Why does this have to take so long? And hell, I, f I felt like I've been breezing through. Except for a couple of speed bumps. Eyes forward. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, well. What's at the bottom of this thing? What the hell is this? Something we don't want to mess with. The odds are against us. I'll say. Yeah, I didn't want to get hit by that. Oh dear. I really need you alive. Thank you. I'm fighting by frost. Good. Hey, Ignis, instructions. All we've got. It's another Mega Snake variant. But it's on fire. And I just iframed through one of its attacks. Good. And dealt about 10% damage. Oh, thank goodness they got the ribbons on, so no one's constantly burning. Oh, I really need you guys to not be dead right now. Not my finest hour. I'll make sure you never forget it. Thank you. Okay. Slow and steady is going to win this race in theory. The life is a jerk gif. I messed up again. Sorry, what? Oh, I was looking at the thing that um, that uh, Phil uh, Azure, whatever, uh, posted in the thing of all the uh, you know just the little dick moments in life. The opposite of oddly satisfying. 
gif, yeah. Yeah, the, the the vending machine the vending machine thing is specifically the reason why I don't use vending machines anymore. Now's our chance. Nothing personal. Nobody else is dead. Super, super dead. How dead would you say he is? Cadaverific. Luckily, in this setting, we have Phoenix Downs, I think. Well, I'm in a dungeon that doesn't let you use items! Oh, shit. That, that is a problem. That's been the entire challenge of this dungeon. Otherwise, I'd be heal spamming through everything. I, I might have missed that little detail. Also, I'm getting Palace of the Dead flashbacks. The what? Um, it is a um, it is a thing in Final Fantasy XIV, and it's basically used as, hey, this is the power leveling thing. Uh, problem is, the deeper you go into the dungeon, uh, the harder the randomized enemies get, and the more random traps can show up. Uh, yeah. To be fair, there are some really satisfying things you can pick up too, like uh, uh, the ability to turn into a berserking demon and kill everything in one shot. Limited time, of course, but oddly satisfying. Okay, come on. It's done. That's all of the yeah. Right? I believe so, yes. Dude, we totally rock. Impressive. <laughs> and for that, I got some stuff. I did all that. What do you get? A new car! A dark matter bracelet, which I already had one of. I'm Pretty sure. Two of. Sorry, two of. And I think a treasure. Divine Whiskers, which I already had one of. But there's a quest attached to this, so I guess let's go back and see what the reward is there. <sighs> I'm done. Same. Oh. Ow. Okay. It's always good to get rewarded for your hard work. I hope so. You know, I hope I'll get rewarded for my hard work here. Oh, thank you, Aguion, for the resub. 11 months now, goodness. Oh, he's been a, a sub for 11 months, or...? Yeah. Really happy about that. Guys, oh, let's, we got little... let's let's melt some faces real quick, just just I'm because. Uh, you're gonna do a boy band concert now? No, I'm just gonna kill a lot of oh, things real fast. Bucks. Me? That is also yeah, satisfying. Same here, icky. All right, hop back to the car, fast traveling because I cannot be bothered to walk 200 feet. A Magitek engine. It's then you know what? Let's just head to the quest location manually. Close. Time to go. All right. Taking the scenic, I might die route. Actually. Great day Hold for on a, a second. Walk, huh? Before I do something real, real, real dumb, gonna save.
Actually, I'm gonna... Travel somewhere reasonable first to get an autosave, because... Uh, I've, late in the game, I've had a couple of crash on the saves, so... I'm a little... a little paranoid. I don't... There is something I do want to show off on stream. Yeah, cr that I haven't really made much use of. Crash on save sounds like something to instantly kill my interest. Well, thankfully, there's pretty generous auto saving. But this is a situation. These dungeons, these post game dungeons, don't really do auto saves. So I'm kind of fa fast traveling to trigger that for sure. Then I'm going to do a manual save. Then I will do the thing to cap off this part of the stream. Let's hit up the shop. Yeah, let's do it. Come with us, Noct. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to manually Down drive the go. car. Mm -hmm. Ugh, we've got so much grime on our gear. Ugh. So yeah, we're we're just we're going to go through the car wash and we're just going to sit in the car the whole time we're in there. Maybe. All right. Wait for some of these cars to get off the road and then take off. By that I mean take off into the sky. Wait, do you have a flying car? Now, it's a post-game thing for some inexplicable reason. It also has a dune buggy mode. I've also given it the ugliest color and decals I have. Well, not the ugliest, but... I'm assuming that was on purpose for some reason. Because I've stopped giving a crap. That is a reason. Oh, thank you, Tendrita, for the don donation. I really appreciate that. That's really going to help this week. What Spud wouldn't give to have a flying car right now? I, man, that sounds really expensive to maintain. And to park. Would you believe that if you, you have to park this thing properly, and if you don't, you die. Game over. What, seriously? If you, you, you can crash and burn if you don't land on the, land back on the road properly. See, that sounds really stupid, because I would imagine it would be something like VTOL, where you could just land on some poor guy's roof. This game, except for like the dune buggy mode, this game does not believe very much in off-roading. Because, I mean, you basically gave us something that belongs in Saints Row 4. Damn it, let us use it. Well, they only give you this after the game's over, basically. Oh, they're, they're putting a wall there. Uh, and there's invisible walls on the flight path, too, so there's that. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like, you gave us something awesome, let it be awesome. That's kind of, like, the ethos of this game. It's like, so the ethos is, in theory, this should be awesome, but we're gonna, we're gonna lame it up a bit. Okay, here's the perfect example of that. Magic spells, right? Uh -huh. What if in the in in sort of a modern take on Final Fantasy they were grenades, oh. and they did they were big and explosive and did to, and did tons of damage? Okay, with you so far. Okay, friendly fire. That kind of makes sense, I guess. 
with AI companions that all rush into melee. Yeah, you lost me. <laughs> oh, but there's there's DLC that gives you an accessory that turns the friendly fire off. So we're going to turn it back into awesome, but you got to pay us. Or more like they realized, oh, this sucks. But not not before initial release. I think you probably just described Square Enix pretty well that way. You know, yeah. See also Final Fantasy fourteen. We didn't get it right the first time, so we'll nuke it and then we'll uh well we'll make it better this time. <laughs> Which to be fair they did. <sighs> Oh yeah, well, when I when I said nuke it, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I know the story of uh, a realm reborn. It's I, I that no clip did a documentary that was really fascinating about that. Yeah, I I saw part of it. I really need to go back and watch the rest. But mostly, I was saying that for the audience benefit of it's like it, that's it's an MMO. Why in the world would I play it? Man, just no clip in general is just amazing. Like they did a Warframe documentary that was really good and. I've been playing Warframe for like since it went into open beta. Uh. They they really good at you know cataloging these things. Warframe, the uh, uh, the 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 uh, cyber ninja game that Destiny wants to be. Destiny doesn't want to be a cyber ninja game. It wants to be a space wizard game. That's it's a slight distinction. I don't know. I've seen I've seen clips of both Destiny One and Two. It's like uh, I'm not getting the space wizard thing. Maybe the, you, you, the warlocks are space wizards, but really they're all space wizards. One of them is a knife space wizard. One of them is a fist space. You know. I cast fists. One of, one of them is a, one of them is a muscle wizard, and one of them is a knife wizard. I mean, maybe it's all in the cutscenes or that com online companion I keep hearing about. No, but, it's it's in the gameplay. Uh, maybe I haven't seen enough of it, but like any any footage I've ever seen of it, it's like this looks like a much more bland Borderlands or something. Honestly, like gameplay wise, Destiny was pretty great. Content, you know, delivery wise, is another story and kind of why I dropped off of both games. But it's 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 Halo 2, the MMO, which is like at a certain point, sometimes that's exactly what I want. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like that that was that was the heyday of Halo. Like I I played the hell out of Halo 2, and I had so much fun doing it. We can buy weapons here. Yeah. Same. All right, let's see what the ultimate reward for doing all eight Better extra dungeons, sub dungeons, is. Good idea. Good to see you back, boys. I heard what you did. You faced the threats and defeated them all. With this, you fulfilled a promise that was made long ago by none other than your father. What? It was some 30 years ago. I, I'm so really hoping it's not the equivalent of I got a rock. Spot and took the vow. To chase out the threats? Mm-hmm. Exactly. As soon as the war was over, he said. The war. Because there are a couple of games that do that. To the Empire. I thought it spelt the end of Lucis. I truly did. But a light that burns so brightly doesn't go out so easily. Thank you, Prince Noctis, for everything. So long as you're alive, I know that the kingdom is safe. Oh, that's gonna be awkward. <laughs> oh my god, no, don't do this to me. Oh, are there multiple parts of it? No. It's on gear, it's in... Oh, you're landing the car. I think. It's just it's just a treasure. Either for 
selling or putting into Elamancy. Ugh. I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could be Ultima Ascension. I mean, I did get, like, some ultimate weapons along the way in some of the other dungeons, but dear lord. That was underwhelming? Oh, man. Yeah, it's, I got the bragging rights thing. I can hawk it for cash. I got a medal. Nailed it. Uh... It, I can also use an Elamancy to make a spell that that has a limit break on it, but... Why would... Uh, like, why? When would I ever use that? When I've already too many defeated the hardest dungeon in the game. I've killed God already. What do you want? <laughs> I've killed God and Satan. Well, I mean, I, I brought up I brought up the 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 Ultima Ascension thing for for comparison because they they have a quest kind of like that. I've done every hunt, every side quest, every DLC. I haven't finished the, the multiplayer comrades DLC, but there's no one else playing it, and it's real boring solo because of the loading times. Wait, there's multiplayer? There's a multiplayer DLC expansion. Ugh. There's also New Game Plus, but why would I... <laughs> I, 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 I believe I believe William Shakespeare said it best when he said, fuck it. I believe that's an accurate attribution. I will not question that. I, it's not in any of his plays, but I'm sure he said it. Uh, let's go. Let's go camp in a van. Call it. I'm all sticky and gross. Oh wait, there's there's still a mega weapon. I could go and fight. Go back to present Lucius and fight the. Uh, I could fight the Imago weapon. Spend like an hour on that. You could. Yeah, that sounds like a fun time. Oh, I'm. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna do it at some point. Oh, keeping that photo. I likes. Yeah, I know. But yeah, as as far as underwhelming quests go, uh, the one I was talking about was there's this thing where you have to collect four gems to power these lighthouses. Antionis Why do you need gems to power lighthouses? Uh, don't worry about it. But you got to find these things and then bring them all back to the light keep uh, the lighthouse keeper, and he does give you a reward that takes it. It takes you across the entire length and breadth of the land of Britannia, and you come back. What's your reward for doing this crazy stuff? One hundred gold pieces. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Someone was filling in the quest rewards table and just like, yeah, just put that in there. Yeah, you could literally kill a giant crab and get that, uh, and get and get that reward. Uh, That's a weird thing in and of itself. Oh man! So it could be a lot worse. <laughs> Wow, that's just, that's a thing that happens. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing something incredibly stupid happened. No, I just, I'm still reeling. I'm still taking it in. Oh. <laughs> that there's no, like, you know. Uh, okay, well. It's like, I, let's, uh, I did the thing, I punished myself. 
that'll be that'll be Final Fantasy 15 part of the stream. Let's do something else, shall we? We've still got hours left in the day. Spud is done with the self-flagellation, as far as I'm aware. Oh, geez, that that dithering though, goodness. That's maybe not okay. That's what I want to check out. Ah. Sorry. Check out that dithering. I'm 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 kicking myself now for for not remembering that I have Darkest Dungeon on my on my Vita. Darkest Dungeon on Vita. Yeah. Oh. That's interesting. That's an interesting idea. Uh, if you do that, make anyway. If you ever get it, uh, and I, I doubt you will, but if you do, um, turn off the uh, uh, turn off the back screen um, controls. Oh wow! Yeah, that sounds pretty prescient. Yeah. Okay. Going to the intermission.